Picture this, a colossal floating city at sea, housing a symphony of aviation engineering, where jets take off and land every 20 seconds on a moving runway. It's a meticulously choreographed dance on the deck of a US Navy aircraft carrier, where organized chaos meets precision. But what happens when this delicate ballet goes awry? Today, we unravel the secrets of arrested tailhook landings, the heartbeat of carrier operations, and explore the intricate hand gestures that orchestrate life on these floating cities. But before we dive into the world of arresting tailhook landings and precision hand gestures on aircraft carriers, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. Now, let's embark on this thrilling journey together. Arrested tail hook landings. Imagine this, a jet hurtling towards the compact runway, surrounded by nothing but the vastness of the sea. To safely land in this challenging environment, pilots execute a maneuver that borders on the extraordinary. This is the arrested tail hook landing. The key player in this delicate operation is the tail hook, a sturdy, robust device located on the rear of the jet. During landing, this hook is lowered with a specific purpose, to catch one of the several arresting cables stretched tightly across the ship's deck. But why is this necessary? The arresting cable, connected to a hydraulic brake system, plays a pivotal role. As soon as the tail hook catches the cable, it's a ballet of precision, timing, and technique. The cable is pulled tight, invoking the hydraulic brake system, and within an incredibly short distance, the high-speed landing jet comes to a halt. This process is not just an essential maneuver, it's a marvel of modern engineering, a testament to the skill and expertise of the Navy's aviators. However, even with this technological wonder, the potential for things to go awry is ever-present. What if the tail hook misses the cable? What if the cable breaks? These are not mere hypotheticals, but part of the daily reality for the crew of an aircraft carrier. The pilots performing these landings have undergone years of intensive training, preparing for the unique challenges posed by landing on a moving runway at sea. The limited space, the constant movement of the ship, and the ever-changing weather conditions add layers of complexity to the already challenging task. When things go wrong, bolters. Despite rigorous training, there are times when the landing fails, leading to a period of chaos and immediate action. A failed, arrested tailhook landing has a specific term, a bolter. This occurs when an aircraft misses or fails to grip the arresting cable, forcing the pilot into an immediate takeoff. When a bolter occurs, the pilot faces an immediate challenge. They must go full throttle while simultaneously steering the aircraft upward. The jet then shoots back into the sky, ready to make another attempt at landing. It's a split-second decision that demands an immense amount of skill and cool-headedness of the pilot. However, the margin for error is razor thin, and a small mistake during this adrenaline fueled moment can lead to catastrophic consequences, emergency procedures, and safety measures. When executing high stakes operations like arrested tailhook landings, the unexpected is always a factor. What if a scenario unfolds where a bolter leads to emergency situations on the flight deck? In such cases, the crew must respond with precision and speed. Flight deck drills, a cornerstone of daily life, become even more critical. These drills simulate various emergencies, ranging from managing a failed landing to dealing with potential attacks. The crew, accustomed to pressure, must act swiftly while adhering to safety protocols. In a simulation of a failed arrested tail hook landing, for example, the crew rushes to secure the deck and others prepare for the rescue of the pilot. Onboard medical staff play a crucial role, ensuring they are ready to provide immediate medical aid to any injured parties. These simulations not only test the crew's ability to respond, but also enhance their readiness for real-life emergencies. 
flight deck drills and simulations. To maintain peak performance, the Navy conducts regular flight deck drills involving the entire crew, simulating every conceivable scenario. These drills are not just routine, they are a lifeline, preparing the crew for everything from routine flights to handling emergencies. Simulations are a critical component, testing the crew's ability to respond quickly and effectively under pressure. One key focus of these drills is managing a failed arrested tailhook landing, a scenario where chaos can unfold rapidly. As the crew rushes into action, securing the deck and preparing for rescue operations, the true nature of life on an aircraft carrier is revealed. Medical staff play a vital role, ensuring they are ready to provide immediate aid to any injured parties. These simulations not only sharpen their skills, but also enhance coordination between different units on the carrier. Communication through hand gestures. In the high decibel environment of an aircraft carrier, spoken words can get lost in the roar of jet engines. This is where hand signals take center stage. These gestures are not arbitrary. They are part of a standardized system used throughout the Navy. From routine operations to emergency scenarios, every movement carries a specific meaning. Let's decode some of these signals. When an aircraft is ready to take off, a crew member, often known as the shooter, makes a hand gesture resembling pulling an imaginary lasso over their head. Once the aircraft is running at full power, the shooter extends their arm forward, palm facing down, and then quickly pulls it down. This signals the pilot to take off. Hand gestures guide the pilot even during the delicate operation of taxiing on the deck. A crew member stretches their arms out to the sides, palms facing the pilot, indicating the direction the aircraft should drive. To signal the pilot to stop, the crew crosses their arms above their heads. These seemingly simple movements convey critical instructions in the chaos of the flight deck. Now what happens when a bolter occurs? Different hand gestures come into play. If the tail hook misses the arresting cable, the crew makes a motion resembling hitting an imaginary table. This signals the pilot to go full throttle and take off again. But it's not only the crew on the deck utilizing these gestures. Pilots also use them to communicate with the crew. For instance, if a pilot is experiencing technical issues with their aircraft, they can place their hand on their helmet. In addition, hand gestures indicate the condition of the deck. If the deck is safe and ready for action, the crew gives a thumbs up. But if there's danger, such as debris on the runway or a broken arresting cable, they'll cross their arms, indicating that the deck is not safe for landing aircraft. This extensive system of hand gestures allows the crew to respond quickly and efficiently to a range of situations, from routine operations to emergencies. It's a ballet of precision and speed where every movement is a vital part of the choreography. Even during night operations, when visibility is an issue, crew members use illuminated batons to make their hand gestures more visible. These glowing sticks come in different colors to convey different instructions. Despite the indispensability of hand gestures, it's crucial to note that they are continually supplemented with other forms of communication. Radio communication remains essential between the tower, pilots in the air, and crew members across different parts of the ship. This layered approach ensures that messages are conveyed accurately and efficiently. And there you have it, fellow explorers of the high seas. What do you think would be the biggest challenge of living aboard a Navy ship? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel to support our men and women at sea. Until next time, Stay safe, and thank you for watching.